what's up guys welcome to your bitcoin update this is going to be a quick one i am getting ready to go turkey hunting I had to get up early so i'm going to get a quick video out kind of take a look at what's going on with bitcoin stick around for the whole video it's going to be interesting don't forget we have a free discord group in the description below the video definitely check it out it's totally free awesome community let's get into it All right, guys, as always, before we begin, this is not financial advice, trading advice, nor is it investment advice. And don't forget, we do a free Ledger Nano S hard wallet giveaway. We do that every Monday. All you have to do to enter to win is make sure you scroll down, click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and leave your comment below. That'll get you entered to win. All right, let's take a look at the 15 minute. We were watching this rising channel. We talked about this yesterday, the smaller falling channel in here, which we did break out of. It looked like a fake out. We came back down. I'm gonna zoom in and take a look at what's going on here. So let's get this out of here. This is invalidated now, but we still have this rising channel that we did fall out of. And we do have a measured move of that around the $58,000 range, but um, we have the bottom of this rising channel. I'm going to put a price target there. Uh, just a roundabout. We don't know exactly where it's going here. It does look like in the 15 minute we are creating a bear flag here. So we could possibly be coming back down to test this $58,000, $59,000 range. If we do get that and get a nice bounce, uh, we'll see where that leads us. That might be a nice place to long, but if we drop below it, could be a great place to short also. Uh, if we take a measured move of this whole rising channel and put it down here, if we do end up breaking this in the next few days, um, the target then becomes around 51,000. We're also going to take a look at the wick off method here in a minute, so uh, stick around for that. But I just wanted to talk about this a little bit. We did break out of this channel. We should see around the $59,000 range, somewhere in that area. But a break below this and it could get ugly. And we'll talk about the areas to watch. Um, there is the possibility we could turn around and come back up and test the top of this channel. We, we did not quite hit it right here. So if that's the case, we do come up and retest this. Could be around the sixty-seven to sixty thousand dollar range. Um, but I don't I really don't see it going much higher than that um, for now. And I'll explain that, but keep an eye on this median here too in this rising channel. And right now that is about uh, six, 62.6, somewhere in that area. If we did come up and retest the bottom of this channel again, could go as high as the 63 to 63.5 range. But as of right now, it is looking pretty bearish. Um, as you guys know, I love my EMAs. They've all crossed bearish here. That is a pretty bearish sign, but this is the 15 minute. Um, so we'll have to see what happens. I'll, I'll leave a tutorial on my uh, EMA strategy and some other strategies above their quick videos. Definitely check them out. They're real helpful. And let's take a look at, so this is the ending fifth wave diagonal that suggests we could come up. If we do come up this weekend and get another retest, could be 68, 69,000, or 67 to 69,000 somewhere, depending on if, when, and where it gets up here. But that would make this diagonal. Um, if we do get rejected there, that would, I, I really think this is an ending fifth wave diagonal. It could have ended here and we'll look at that in the wick off. Uh, but anyways, if we're to break down from here, we could see the low 40 thousands. Um, watch this bottom trend line as of right now today, that bottom trend line, um, if we came straight down today, which who knows anything can happen, but it would be around 57,000. And then each day it goes up about 500 points. So keep an eye on that. Um, also, we are looking at the RSI. It does have room to come up and retest this trend line. Now a break of this trend line on the daily RSI, and it could go much, much higher. Uh, that would be breaking this 68,000. If that was to happen, we could be looking for um, 80 to $85,000 Bitcoin. So keep that in mind. But as you guys know, we've been watching this wick off method here. And I drew this in way back here in, it was over a month ago, right around a month ago, I drew this blue line and it's funny how it's playing out almost perfectly. And our pie cycle top indicator 
has flashed up there. If we remove this, um, right now we're breaking below the up thrust line and that's around 61.8. If we close a daily below that, chances are we're gonna come down within the next few days and retest this 58.5 area. Once we, now what can happen there, let's put this back up here, is we can bounce around and make this our range between the 62 and $58,000 range for you know maybe a week or so. If This does not have to play out exactly like this, guys, but it is playing out beautifully so far, but we could make this the range for another week or so. Once we break below and start closing, if we start closing daily candles, below the 58.5 range, chances are this is what we're gonna see. And we'll take a look at the possible targets, but here's the uh, pie cycle top indicator. It did cross last Sunday. So just be aware of that. Again, it doesn't have to play out like this, but it is looking quite likely. So it's just kind of funny the way I drew the lines in that it is following that, but be careful. Let's take a look at Prime XBT. If you guys are interested in trading, definitely check out Prime XBT. They don't trade against you like the other exchanges. I'll leave a tutorial up top on how to use their margin. You can also use uh, Prime XBT to follow other traders and copy trade. It's co-vesting, check it out. It, it explains it all on the tutorial. You can trade uh, Bitcoin, crypto, Forex, gold, silver, oil, S&P, Dow Jones, everything all on one exchange. Great setup, guys. Check it out. And you can use my promo code SAVVY50. It'll get you 50% on top of whatever you deposit as a bonus. SAVVY25 will get you 25% off your fees. Let's take a look at coin before we go into the longer charts on Bitcoin. Um, Pre-market, it's right around 320. I've drawn this triangle in here. Could be a possible bear flag. Here are the targets if we break. Uh, if it does break this low here around 317 today, I'm looking for at least a 274. And if that happens, maybe in the next week or so, we could see the measured move of this being a bear flag, getting us down to around $200. So be aware of that. If we are able to break above this 21 EMA, this is the 15 minute, but this chart's so small uh, because it just started. But if we do break up from here, um, if we break above the... 335 range, I'd be looking for around 373 and probably get a rejection there if that happens. Um, oh, I wanted to tell you guys too, in my links down below, I have a bunch of affiliate links down there. Check out the Bybit affiliate link. They are giving away a $1,050 bonus. There's also a way to get 15% annual interest. Um, definitely check it out. Also, they're having a trading competition with 400 a thousand dollar giveaway so check it out use my link down below and um yeah check it out but anyways now let's look at this on the daily so this is the trend line i showed you of uh depending on if when and where it hits would be you know between the 67 68 dollar range um if it does do that fifth wave ending diagonal um but again if we break down from here uh possibly this weekend if we do break that $58,000 range we could be looking as low as like I said the low 40s but we also have this target here around 38.5 which would be the 200 EMA on the daily and um, that doesn't mean it goes down in one candle guys but um, if we do break this bottom trend line chances are we're going to come down to you know 38,000 to $42,000 range um, over the next week or so so be cautious Again, if we break this 68,000, we could come all the way up, retest this trend line on the top, looking at this as a rising channel. Uh, but as of right now, it is, it's starting to look pretty bearish. Um, and the funding rate is favoring the bull or the bears. Um, funding rate's pretty high right now. Uh, we were also looking at this as a inverse head and shoulders. Now that would... We would have to get a bounce off the $60,000 range um, for this neckline, uh, which will probably at least get a bounce anyway. Uh, but a break below this um, will invalidate this, and that targets around $70,000. But like I said, I'm not real convinced of this just because of where the neckline is. But I did want to throw that out there and show you guys. Um, yeah. 
This is the long-term macro chart, and this is the area we've been watching. Um, the 0.236 FIB on this FIB channel. And if you we zoom in over here, I drew a parabolic arc, which we did break. But also, as you can see, we are getting rejected at that FIB every time we test it. If we do break above this, once, if we can open and close a daily above the $65,000 range, then there's a possibility we could go up, retest this arc. And that would be that, you know, 80 to $85,000 Bitcoin. But right now, it seems to be under a lot of pressure. Uh, we'll see what happens. See where this daily closes. It's going to be interesting. Right now, we are breaking the 8 EMA as of time making this video. We could get a bounce here, though. Um, like I said in the beginning, that 15-minute chart, we could get a bounce up and retest. But sorry it's so short, guys. I just wanted to get a video out to you. Don't forget to check out my wife's webpage along with my other affiliate links down below. Uh, she makes a lot of cool gift ideas. She does it all herself. It's quality stuff, not the garbage iron on, none of that. Um, she can put pictures or sayings or whatever you want on any of this stuff. Glass, um, wood, uh, aluminum, all kinds of stuff. Check it out. At least give it a look. And uh, there is a crypto section too with t-shirts, hats, coffee mugs, stuff like that. Definitely check it out if you haven't already. I'm sure you'll find something you like in there. And if you have a special request like a you know, your favorite coin or your favorite project or whatever, she can do that too. Just let her know, hit her up in the contact. She's real good at getting back with people. But thanks a lot for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking the Crypto Savvy logo above my head. Smash that like button. Leave your comments down below. And I am out of here.